Um, thank you to everyone who's worked so hard to make this night of innovation a success. I'm Helen Harrison, and this is my wonderful husband, Robert Backstrand. Yay. Our stories start with our individual genetic inheritance. I developed interstitial cystitis, and our website recounts how I use genetics and nutrition to overcome it. Bob developed chronic fatigue syndrome, and tonight I'll focus on his experience. There we go. I'll be throwing my papers here, so don't mind that. Chronic fatigue is a complex, degenerative, and debilitating autoimmune and energy deficiency condition. It can involve pervasive fatigue, cognitive and memory impairment, muscle and joint pain and degradation, and many, many, many other symptoms. Uh, researchers understand the biochemical changes that occur in CFS, but they don't have a clear picture of the genetic contributions. Unlike others, I have a genetic variant profile that appears to predispose someone to chronic fatigue syndrome. I also developed a nutritional protocol that helps decrease the impact of the inflammation and the fatigue. Now, a very unique personal circumstance enabled me to do this. I know well three generations of fatigue in my husband's family, his grandparents and his great aunt, his father, and Bob and two of his siblings. And as you can see, by looking at the last column with Bob and his siblings, all of them meet the CDC criteria for chronic fatigue syndrome, but my husband has well times more the number of symptoms than his siblings. So I sense genetics had to be the reason he was more impacted than his siblings. Now this is only one family out of millions. According to the CDC, up to 2.5 million people in the U.S. are diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, 80% of whom are women. The CDC believes that about 90% more may be undiagnosed, and worldwide up to 22.5 million. The future for CFS patients is now generally bleak. About 40% never recover within six months of their health crash. Excuse me, 40% never recover, 60% never do. The average age of death is 58.5 years, and studies show increased risk of suicide. TX Genetic Research puts the science of nutrition to work for people with CFS. We provide precision nutritional genomics services and products. Chronic fatigue syndrome folks are very sensitive to foods and drugs. A customer's genetic profile reveals what nutrients and chemicals they cannot tolerate. These are excluded from their custom supplement protocol. If a customer does not have an advocate who can help them manage their protocol, TX Genetic will pair them with a nutritional coach. We have testimonials from people that we have helped so far. There are three, but I'll just read one of them. Not too long ago, I was immobile and sleeping most of the day. I am now employed with a very demanding job. This is strictly due to the guidelines that I got from Helen regarding food and supplements. On to the next. The similarity of chronic fatigue syndrome to COVID-19 long haul is well known. This suggests a market much larger than only CFS patients. 339 million people have contracted COVID-19 worldwide as of 2021, and about 25% of chronic 19 patients develop long haul. They are comparable disease profiles. They share about two dozen major symptoms. They both have autoantibodies to neurotransmission receptors, and they both have damage from oxidative stress. So where does TX Genetic go from here? First, we want to get our nutritional supplement manufactured and distributed. 
We want to extend our genetic analysis to more CFS and possibly COVID-19 long haulers. And last, we want to create a website for business enterprise, health consultation, and community support. Thank you very much for listening to TX Genetic Research.